Have you seen China's icebreaker ships, also known as snow dragons? They're a part of China's new Arctic fleet that's taking advantage of higher temperatures and melting Arctic ice to traverse sea routes that used to be completely frozen over. And these new shortcuts through the Arctic have saved Chinese companies millions of dollars as they shorten their trade voyages by as many as 10 days. And China is hardly the only country making new inroads in the far north. Eight countries currently control the land in the Arctic Circle. And as ice in the area thaws, each is racing to establish new shipping routes and extract the region's potentially vast natural resources, such as oil, gas, and rare earth minerals. And as analysts speculate about a present-day gold rush, countries like Canada and Russia have claimed more and more Arctic territory, setting the stage for heightened geopolitical tensions. But what does it mean? Let's slow down a little. Geopolitics is the study of how geographical factors, like the Arctic ice caps, can influence international politics. And climate change has increasingly started affecting many of those factors, especially the availability of natural resources, thereby impacting countries' relationships as well. The struggle for resources and power in the Arctic goes to show how climate change is a defining factor in shaping relationships between countries in the coming century.